And now we have more of our exclusive interview with Princes William and Harry. When I sat down with the young royals back in April, Harry was getting ready to be deployed to Iraq. But a few weeks later, the British military decided against sending him with the rest of his unit. It was a decision that Harry knew was a possibility. So if, if the military decided, you know what, it's too risky to you and the others, and I'm not gonna, so we're not going to send you to Iraq, would you be disappointed? I would be disappointed, but I mean, I think... I think I can safely say that my guys will be disappointed. All that training that you've done as a group, you know each other, how, how each other works. You know when someone's grumpy without having to ask them, etc., etc. We just, with, you know, that's, so it would break up this cohesive group at the, exactly the wrong time. It, exactly the wrong time, but at the same time, I can completely understand because the last thing I want is to feel myself that I'm responsible for someone else being injured in any way at all. Do you worry? Yeah, I worry. I mean, it's not bothered <laughs> good, at all. Good to get him out of the house, you know, get him away from things. But at the same time, of course I worry. But I've got full confidence in, in what he does, you know, he knows what he's doing and he's very good at what his job is. Um, and also I've got full confidence that, you know, that if things do get out of hand, that, you know, the measures will be taken to make sure that no one else is hurt. And, and you've got similar training now? Yeah. And yet you won't see that type of action? Well, I don't know that yet. I don't know. I, I live every day that I might hope to get to do what he does. Because otherwise, what's the point of me doing all my training and, and being there for my guys when I can turn around to them and go, well, I'm far too important, I'm not going. How would you describe your relationship? And how close are you two? How often do you get to see each other and talk to each other? I mean, you've got Little very busy lives individually. Do you email each other? you text message each other? How do you, do you yeah. get a nightly phone call? I mean, we're, we are, we are slightly we're normal. Yeah. 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 We, are, we, we have a normal side Facebook, to us. You know, myspace.com. Yeah. Um, no, we do. We're, we're very, we contact each other the normal way. Um, text messages, phone calls. Um, but, you know, we you see each other. left something at home and I have to bring it for him. Yeah. If your last name weren't Windsor, if it were Smith or Jones, and you didn't have the duties that you were born into, what would you want to do professionally? Mm -hmm. All sorts of things. Like what? Well, when I was younger, I wanted to be a policeman, but that happened. I wouldn't want to be that now. <laughs> the most popular <laughs> cop on the yeah, block. Exactly. <laughs> what would you want to do? I think it's, 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 it's... I don't know. I don't, it's a really tricky question. It goes through my head lots. I'd like to fly helicopters, definitely. I'd like to be some sort of heli pilot, you know, working for the UN maybe or something like that. Go off and do some, you know, I'd, I'd have to be doing something active um, outside and, and doing sort of fun stuff, but with an edge to helping people. How about you, Harry? He'd probably sit in and play computer games and drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I, I honestly, I, you know, I don't know how well this would get out, but I'd probably live in Africa. I'd like to spend all my time out there. Um, in, in a humanitarian uh, both. It would be a humanitarian aspect and as well as a sort of sof safari aspect. As a job, it would probably be a safari guide and then... It would be really good for me because he wouldn't be around, you see, so I'd get the highest to myself. At the same time, you know, splitting my time between a charity, you know, in the suit, probably the suit as well. If, you know, if I became normal tomorrow, then I'd have yeah, the That word suit. normal comes up a lot, doesn't it? It really is. It's kind of the, the holy grail out there. I feel abnormal. <laughs> and, and you've been to the United States, you spent a little time in Tennessee, you mentioned Disney World. What are your impressions of the U.S.? Horrible. <laughs> oh my God! No. You know that's the headline. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, Harry calls U.S. horrible. Um, no, it's. I think it's, it's such an amazing place. It's so vast and on such a massive scale, and there's so much to do, and it's so different. I love America. I think it's brilliant. I have a really good time over there. Um, everyone's really friendly, welcoming, and and yet they're not. They're very good at sort of not being too invasive. No, it's it's cool, and, and it'd be nice to get back to America sometime soon. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you have any questions about the young princes, we'll try to answer some of them a little later on. Just go to todayshow.com, send us an email. By the way, the, the benefit concert Prince William and Harry are holding to honor their mom called The Concert for Diana airs Sunday, July 1st at 8, 7 central time right here on NBC.